Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This video is my very first teacher themed video. For those that don't follow me on Instagram, I recently just graduated. I did a three year degree in primary education and next week I'm going to be a teacher and I still haven't set up my classroom but before I do that I wanted to show you everything that I've got <laughs> for my classroom. This is just a little box of things. I've got some things at home anyway that I want to put in there. And I've got to make loads of things. I've already started making some things. It's all very exciting. Um, but if you want to see a whole cartoon transformation, then make sure you subscribe and follow me on Instagram because I'm going to be posting a lot and a whole cartoon transformation video that I will be doing this week. So, let's just get on with the video. Okay, this fluffy thing, might as well start with it. Um, it was originally £4 from Primark and I got it for £2 in the sale and this is just a cute fluffy cushion that I was like, yeah, that could go in my reading corner. So yeah, item number one. I'm just going to randomly pull out things, um, so there's no order to this whatsoever. Uh, from Poundland, I got this. It's just a, it was a £1 chalkboard. I was thinking to put it on my teacher desk and have either like a word of the week or a quote of the week something i just basically wanted to be able to write something fancy on a board and have it on display but it comes with chalk anyway but i think i have a chalkboard pen at home um like my home home so i'll be able to write some it a lot easier but yeah one pound i just i got excited i probably should throw everything on the floor i do have loads of books that i've been picking up from either charity shops or boot sales I um, don't know if you want to see them all individually, but I'll just show you quickly. Um, just presume they were all 30p, because they were roughly like 3 for a pound, maybe one was like 50p, the rest were like 30p. Um, so if you are after some books for your school, like your reading corner, then I definitely recommend going to car boot sales, because people just, they're just giving it away. And also there's a charity shop near my house, and they do 10p children's books. So I've, I've got a few at home as well, so got a bit of a collection and I'm gonna print off little labels that say like from Miss Aitken's library or something like that. <laughs> um but yeah I've got Farmer Duck classic How to be a happy hippo um this one was just cute it's so ready for Christmas something magic something magic in the night um my first theme of the term is like land beyond time or something so dinosaur theme so i got a lot of dinosaur books um how to grow a dinosaur dinosaur starts school i'm reading this on the first day because it's meant to be so that one um tyrannosaurus drip this is just cute like look at the i love children's books so much um, this one, I think this was 50p, but it's worth it. Um, it's just open very carefully. And it's just a really interactive book. And it's like, there's basically like a crocodile inside the book. And I'm well excited to start reading this. Um, and I can like read it with like, just going to put on a show. And um, then Grumpy Cat. So that's a few books there. So all in all, these were like less than £2 for all of these, which is so good. Um, also this, I love travelling, hence the name of my channel is Via Harsha, which is travel in Spanish. Um, and I was basically just want to just show the kids that, and I've always wanted a map in my classroom, ever since I wanted to be a teacher. And so this is a huge map, it was only £4 in the sale, in the works, and it is 40 by 50 inches, so it's really big. So let me know, I don't know whether to put it high, like in the middle of the wall, or should I put it low so the kids can like go up close and like look at it, I don't know. Um, but I've also got a globe that comes with my classroom too, so I'm going to have a little like area in the classroom all dedicated to like travel and where the kids are from, where they've been, everything. That was a bargain, four pound. Um, I also got this from a car boot sale. Um, it is just a match and spell, a little phonics activity. Uh, the current teacher did like phonics activities in the morning, um, just whilst like the register was going on, so I thought I'd just pick up a few. Um, so this one is quite cute. Just comes with like um, 
Let me show you if I can open it. This was 50p, I think. Um, so it comes with like a picture of the thing and then how many phonemes it has in the word. And then on the other side, they can just do it themselves with the little with the little thingies, letters. So yeah, I thought that was really fun and cute and I couldn't resist because it was 50p, basically. Um, I also saw on Instagram, I think her name is Happy with Miss H. If you're not following her already, I'll put it here. Her Instagram's amazing. Um, but she suggested um, doing, like, basically using raffle tickets as like a reward scheme for like behaviour management. So if they do the good work or good behaviour, um, then I will give them a raffle ticket. And then the other one will go in a little, like, I might put it in like a little treasure chest or something. And then at the end of either the week or the term, I'm thinking maybe month, I don't know yet. But um, pick it out and then they win a prize. Like a little, I don't know, positive reinforcement <laughs> slash bribery. Um, I thought that would be really fun. And they're only year ones, bless them. So I remember their previous teacher did do some kind of thing like that and they got like, um, they had a star chart each. So I wanted to continue doing something like that for them. Otherwise I'm just the mean teacher. Um, and then for that, this is from the pound land, the pound. I just saw these little pencils to start off the gift box. Um, just for some fishy ones with some sharks. And then of course, unicorns, mermaids, rainbows, you can't really go wrong. They were a pound each, so that was really good. So that's just to go into the gift treasure test, I think. Um, what else is here? These are from actually a while ago. Um, I got them on eBay. Um, and there's a bunch of stickers for positive reinforcement again. Who doesn't love stickers? Um, I love these ones as well because they have, um, this one's my favorite. It has a, a globe and it says, very good. And there's like, excellent, great. Well done with little pictures on, and then there's also smiley faces, and then stars. So a nice little selection, there's quite a lot in there, um, so I've been going for a while. I'll have a little sticker drawer, I think. Um, what's this? Another thing from Poundland is... Mm. I couldn't resist, it was a pound and I really like the pasta purple <laughs> um, and I just, want some, I just want some help filling the walls so I thought I'd get a couple of posters. Um, this one is just the time tables, 1 to 12, I um, thought to help them memorise them because I know how hard it is for kids to memorise them and then I thought having a nice big bright poster on the wall would sort of help them. And it was just cute and a pound to so say, couldn't say no. Well happy with that. Um, what else is in here? This is a another hanging plant. You see behind me. I'm just gonna turn it up. <laughs> it's just a fake ivy plant, and it was like two pounds for Wish uh, or eBay. So I got one for my classroom because I think I'm gonna have a little like on my desk. I want to make it really me with like pictures and quotes and things like that and a little plant hanging down i think i've got some extra cacti i'll put on my desk as well um and yeah it's just gonna be really cute so could not have a fake plant. i thought fake plant because like over the summer vacation uh summer holidays uh i would have to water it so that's good um if you heard that this is another thing i got from the boot sale it was either 30p or 50p can't remember but I'm just going to use this um, to sort of get the kids' attention. Give it a little... Listen, sort of thing. <laughs> like, uh, look at me. <laughs> um, so I thought it was a fun way to get their attention. I did have a shaker thing that I got from Mexico. But on my last placement, I had to use it so much <laughs> that it broke. Um, so I just got this instead. And I thought the kids would probably love it as well. And it's really loud, so perfect. Okay, the next thing was probably unnecessary, but it was 50p from a car boot sale, and it was basically my childhood dream, so <laughs> I had to get it. Um, I've always wanted a till that has like a conveyor belt that actually works, 
so I had to get it. Um, this I thought either just play or an epic money lesson. Um, and you put it on here. So for example, this is what the thing comes on. You press the button. Oh, I need to turn it on. Yes, yeah, I'll, I'll do it one more time for you guys. <laughs> so you put things on the conveyor belt, then you can scan it, and it has like the red laser coming out. The calculator comes with a little Sainsbury's credit card as well that you can like swipe, and a little like little microphone. I just thought it was really cool, and I had to get it. So kids are gonna love it, and so am I. <laughs> I'm just running out of space now, I'm just going to put it behind me. Um, oh, this I'm really excited for. Ooh. This I'm really excited for. I got these from Wish, um, including postage, I think it was like £3. Um, and basically there are a load of different um, like sand primers, you see, like this. Um, but they're all different colours. Uh, for example, this one is 30 seconds so you turn it over and it will go for 30 seconds but there are 30 seconds one minute two minute three minute five minute ten minute so everything you need i found these really useful during um, my previous placement there was a certain child who found it really motivating to have a timer with him when he was doing like the title the learning objectives and but i would be the one counting oh can you do it in 30 seconds he'd be like yeah and then he'd like rush to do his third objectives um, because otherwise it'd take him like 10 minutes if you left him to it. Um, and then also little activities I give them during the teacher input. Uh, I set a timer on the board normally, but I thought it'd be cool if um, they could see it or I can give different groups different times maybe. Yeah, I just really loved it. And I wanted one for placement, so I thought I'd treat myself. And they're gonna be really cute on my teacher desk. <laughs> just like set up there with all the different colors. Um, but yeah, wish if you need cheap teacher things. So, whoop. yeah, these were from Powerman's. Uh, these are going to just sit on my desk for uh, important documents and stuff. I'm thinking about getting a couple for children's books as well, maybe like one for each colour table. Um, but I wanted them to be the colour of the table. Whereas for my desk, I just wanted some cool patterns and I really like these. So pound each, really good. And then also for my desk, from Poundland as well, I got a desk calendar. This is pretty. <laughs> I like, I'm going for a kind of like a gold and pinky colour um, theme. So this is just to have on my desk, mostly for decoration and... I'm sure that one of the kids can, that can be their job to change the date. To go with the pink theme, I got this little, I think it's supposed to be a plant pot. It's from the Zoella Lifestyle Collection and so it's got the little like Z in the Zoella. Um, but I just thought it would look cute like this, polka dots and pink, for all my pens on my teacher desk. <laughs> so lame that I call it a teacher desk, not just a desk. Um, I'm quite excited. Uh, this is 99p from a charity shop, and I thought it was really cute. And it'll go really well with this as well. Um, also, I actually got this for free. Um, there was like a little stall that I was just giving away free things for some reason um, in Brighton. And I got this, and I'm going to spray paint it gold to fit my theme. Um, so I'll show you that on my Instagram before and after. Um, I thought it'd come in useful <laughs> to put important things in, even like messages or stuff like marking notes. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it'd be really cute and gold on my desk. Um, and then also to put things in on my desk, a gold basket, of course. Uh, this was a 99p from a charity shop and I just wanted it, really. Thought it would come in handy. Um, I know in my previous basement, the teachers had one of, one of these on every single table with their, um, they're called magpie books, but they were like certain writing books. 
Um, so eventually probably I'll do something like that. But for now, this one's for me. To put things in on my desk. Like my teacher planner as well. A few more things left. I've got some LED lights from Primark. They were originally £2.50. I got them from the sale. One pound each. I picked up two. I still don't know what I'm doing for my reading corner. Um, I'm thinking some kind of reading garden. But if not, I'm just going to put like lights and cushions and make it look really cosy and inviting. Um, but we'll see. You'll find out on the, the classroom transformation video. Um, but yeah, I just got these. They're really long as well, they're 40 LED lights, um, so it will last a long time, especially with two. Okay, the very last thing to show you in this video, what I've bought so far, I still might think, mm, I need something else and then go get it, but I'll just show you that on Instagram. Um, but I bought the teacher diary from Paper Chase. Luckily, teachers get 15% off as well, um, so I just proved to them that I'm going to be a teacher soon, and I got this for... £11, it's originally £14 but 15% off which is great. Um, I just really like the colour and it has lots of different sections. Um, which every, every start of the month there's like a quote and a list of important things to do this month, like events, and then each week basically looks like this. Um, so yeah, every day is broken into like the different times of day. And then it's got birthdays. Oh, I like this bit. Like if I done if there's a kid's birthday on that week, um, to do the little bit for weekend plans. And that's for all the months. Um, and then at the back as well, there's like notes. There's a seating chart if you want it. There's also marking. So I think maybe if I do some tests. Um, I can put them here so I can just write the child's name and all the schools. So maybe if I do like a weekly spelling test, I'm thinking I keep it here, I keep it all like the same because there's quite a lot of pages for marking, so that'll last me the whole year. Um, and yeah, I just, I just, I got excited and I can't wait. <laughs> um, but I really wanted a big planner to have everything in. If I buy anything else, I'll be sure to show it on my Instagram stories. So make sure you follow and subscribe to see my classroom transformation make sure you comment down below whether you're training whether you're teaching now what year you're teaching and let's just chat okay i think that's everything uh thank you so much for watching and goodbye